But you know what the problem is, right? You have the wrong paradigm that you're focused on, right? There is no competition, particularly at your level. It's the network. I think I've felt insecure about a lot of my skill sets when mm -hmm. it comes to music business and thinking that everyone's out just competing 10 times more. So yeah. I'm trying to think, are there that many artists that are actually doing self producing on engineering? Like the only thing I can't do is master. I do send that out, but from beats to the mixing it to can do the video editing, actually understand cinematography for studying film, do the marketing, advertising, have LLCs for the clothing. Like I actually had the LLCs and branding stuff squared away prior to going through that course part and actually able like solidified in that. I'm thinking like legit about 70% of the artists in the industry are doing that and that I'm really way behind. And they also got teams on top of that doing it. But now I think going so I'm gaining an understanding that maybe 20% probably do. And the rest that are doing stuff have a team of a lot of people doing stuff that they probably really don't even understand even if they were trying to break it down to them. But I don't know. So I was like, I probably need to hear that. Well, you know what the problem is, right? You have the wrong paradigm that you're focused on, right? There is no competition, particularly at your level. Like there is no competition. If you're not playing for, hey, I gotta be number one on this specific chart or I'm the it girl in pop land and there can only be one or two it girls at a time. If you're not playing that game. It's, there is no competition. Like there's so many fans to, to get at. Like there's so many directions and, 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 and audiences to build. So how the, and how the build happens is irrelevant because there's some people who, yes, they have a team and they're doing the things that you're saying. You're say, yes, I have somebody who's mixing my shit. I have somebody who's mastering my shit. I have somebody who's running my marketing. So what if it's you doing it all yourself or a team doing it all itself? Which one's better and which one's doing better at serving their fan base, all right? But that's all that matters. The fans don't care if you have all these things. Yes, you can make it a part of your narrative to try to get people to care, a la like a Russ or some, a situation like that, but it only goes with so far and only so many people can use that, hey, I'm doing it all myself, self-narrative. And even and in, anybody who's at a significant level of Russ, I'm out of, of success, just like Rush, Russ, is not doing it alone. They have some kind of team, period, even if they're a CEO of their team. So it's it, it, all of that has to has to kind of be washed away in how you think about this stuff, man. It's not what is my competition doing. It's what is it's how can I better serve my audience? And if there is some type of competition, if I better serve my audience, the audience is isn't gonna care who my competitor is, right? I'm going to win by nature, but if I'm watching the competition, I'm gonna be so, so busy watching them serve my audience that I'm gonna lose, right?